Hey guys, so it is 3 o'clock on Sunday. I do not know the day. I think it's the 22nd. But I'm going to get my hair done. And I am so excited. Um, I debated for a long time what I wanted to do with my hair because looking back, I've been blonde for like five years. And part of that is because being in the military, you can't have your hair any unnatural colors. And, um... And blonde's just what's been like easiest for me and it's personally what I think like looks best on me but today girl I am going in and I am so excited a long time like debating like all the past few days if I wanted to go a like a burgundy red purple color and um, I don't know I was really scared but now I'm just like you know what I owe it to myself for like depriving myself of self-expression being in the military five years I owe it to myself to just be like free and crazy and a big like middle finger to not being able to express yourself so I think that's what we're doing <laughs> today I'm still scared but um hopefully it'll work because my biggest thing is like if I go red burgundy am I gonna be able to wear like peach or like teal colored t-shirts and and I just wasn't sure, but then I'm like, you know what? I wear mostly, like, I'm a really, like, basic girl when it comes to fashion. Like, I wear mostly neutral colors, like, whites. I like my white, cream, ivory shades and grays. So, I think it'll be okay. And then matching, like, the lip to the hair, and I don't know if I'm going to go through all that. But you know what? If Jaclyn Hill can make it work and she wears what she wears, I should be able to make it work. Because I'm trying, I'm pretty much going for her hair color. She's definitely, like, my inspiration for the hair. Because lately she's gone a little bit more brown, but back in the day she was more red. I want to go more red, though. So, I'm super excited. Really nervous, but super excited. So, this is, like, before. It's, like, my whole blonde is, like, back here. And then you just have, like, a bunch of regrows. So, <gasps> I'm so excited. I also have to mention that this is CJ's, this is my first time away from Mariah since we've had her. So far, so good. It's my first time drinking coffee since she's been born and pretty much for the past like six months I haven't had like a lick of coffee. So if you knew me before I was pregnant, coffee is part of my soul. It is, it warms my soul, it is part of my heart, it's part of my personality, legit. So I'm gonna slowly ease back into it. I am still breastfeeding, so it's not like the best. But um, yeah, a latte, hair. CJ's at home with her. I did pump to make sure that they would be taken care of, but I did top Mariah off with the boob right before I left, so. Ah, you guys. I just feel, I feel very, happy I feel very like inspired right now like I just want to I'm like excited for my future like I just want to I don't know I just want to embrace my passion and just like go for it like there was this cliff and I was just teetering on the edge and now I feel like I'm just like running towards the edge about to just leap into the unknown or I am currently in the unknown and who knows where I'm gonna fall I'm just like out there in the abyss right now so I'm excited. Hopefully this hair is like re-inspiring to me and I'm excited to see like, oops. I'm excited to do like selfies with it, Instagram posts. Like I feel it's really gonna vamp up my life, you know, cause I've been blonde for so long. So long girl, so long. You guys, I am living for my hair right now. Like living. Oh my gosh, it's so perfect. I don't think I've ever been like more satisfied with a color in my life. It looks like really red right here, but um, in person it's like on a shade of purple. It is, I love it so, 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 so much. Like I can't stop looking at it. Look at my sleepy baby. Oop. I'm gonna wake her up. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. 
Oh, it's almost time for you to eat, huh? Mm -mm. There she is. Are you having good dreams? Are you dreaming about angels? Hmm? Angels and unicorns. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mariah. Hi, sleepy baby. It's okay, you can sleep. Let me eat. Hi, guys. I realize I look like a hot mess. And I realize in most vlogs, I do look like a hot mess. And that's probably because most of the time, this is how I look most of the time. But yeah, it is day two that I've had this hair. And still, so far, so good. I still absolutely love it. Yesterday, I filmed a trying to get ready with me that kind of took like all day. And, um, oh sorry. Took like all day and then Mariah cluster feeded until like um 1.30 in the morning last night. So um yeah, I was gonna go to like a breastfeeding support group today, but since she kept me up so long last night, we when when we actually did go to sleep, um she woke up at like seven again to feed and then we took a nap until like eleven. So it's now two forty nine and I am eating lunch. I'll show you guys. I am eating mixed veggies with chicken and quinoa. So, like I said, I'm going to be super healthy or I'm attempting to be really healthy because I really want to get, like, my face back. I'm getting, like, collarbones, but I want, I don't want to double chin anymore. It's, it's really annoying. So, I'm on the healthy grind. I have salmon defrosting for tonight for dinner. I think I'm going to make, like, a maple garlic salmon. And I am eating, and then I'm also editing that try to get ready with me. So, being a productive day, I think tomorrow I'm actually going to get ready and leave the house. And I think CJ and I are going to go out to sushi for lunch. We really cut down on eating out. We're trying to eat out once a week, and that's for money purposes and for health purposes. So, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Okay, so it's like 7 o'clock Tuesday afternoon and CJ is doing homework because he's taking like three classes and so he doesn't have a life so I am making quinoa you see it there and then I have some veggies over here and then the maple salmon is in the oven so this should be done in like legit four minutes um, and then Mariah she's gonna be waking up in probably four minutes I'll show you guys her. We've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, we basically are on season 4, episode 13. And we just started it, like, over the weekend. There she is. She's gonna get hungry in a second. So my food will probably be getting cold. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. Okay, you guys, so here is the maple salmon, and there is the quinoa, and then just some veggies. You excited? Very. I'm excited, too. This one's CJ. CJ, so he gets double the fish. Where's that possessive <laughs> CJ's getting Mariah a bath, so let's see if we can sneak in on them. We'll see how he's doing daddy duties. <laughs> hey. hey. Afternoon. It's about 11 o'clock and I am Mariah and we are on our way to meet CJ for sushi for lunch and then afterwards we have to go to um since my hair is now like red I guess it fades super fast I don't know I've never had a bold hair color before so um when I was at the salon the last time 
um, she recommended this like hair treatment that I do in the shower. Basically, it's like more color for your hair like as a shampoo or you put it in after you shampoo and it keeps your hair nice and red and vibrant. So I have to go pick that up grocery shopping and then I want to go off base to do a little bit of grocery shopping too so it's three stops um yeah I don't know if I'm gonna go to the mall because I kind of want to look at some accessories because I'm I'm I have a really simple style right so I'm all about like t-shirts and oversized like tops and stuff and I really just like accessorize them with just like gold jewelry like really simple I'm a simple kind of girl so I'm thinking I want to do that but I don't know I don't know how like good I am with Mariah on my own yet like I went out once yesterday and that was my first time with her and I was legit in like a tank top and sweats you guys so I was not about to film it but um we just went to a store and I had her in the carrier but my god it was hot the store had nothing it was just it just wasn't a great experience she didn't cry or anything but I was just like sweating which I don't like to do like it's so humid here it sucks basically doing anything outside, but I don't want to be sweating, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just makes things miserable. So, maybe I'll just put her in her stroller like a normal mom. But I just feel like her stroller is so big and Japanese places are so small and compact. It's, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it. I mean, moms put kids in their strollers all the time and get shit done, right? Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. It depends how she is. It sucks. Like, being a mom... You have to bring so much stuff with you when you leave the house. Or at least when you have a baby, you do, like... And it's not even all for her. Like, you have to make sure she's done. I had to make sure she was fed. Diaper was clean. She had some clothes to wear. I also made sure her, um... Like, baby bag had diapers in it. More changes of clothes. Wipes and everything like that. But then for you, you know... Put on your wedding ring, which I always forget mine... Um, and then it's like even when you're breastfeeding it's like your boobs leak like every two hours they get really full and sometimes they start to leak and so you have to make sure like you have the proper stuff in there which I forgot mine today so I'm basically gonna stuff my bra with a burp cloth and hope I don't leak through my sports bra you know it's just it's just a lot more than I'm used to you know what I'm saying you know what I say Look at Miss Chubb. Isn't she getting chubby? <laughs> it's the cutest thing in the world. This is salmon and avocado and mayo with sliced onions on top, and it's seriously the best thing ever. And then I ordered CJ some salmon to get him started, but he's not here yet. So we're just waiting for him. I made me some green tea. Yummy. And then someone's just over here. Hi baby. She's so beautiful you guys. I seriously feel like the most like blessed person ever. home now and you know it didn't go too bad Mariah got a little fussy on the way back that's because we were going on like three hours and so she was hungry so it's around like 3 30 now um I've been feeding her for the past like 45 minutes um so she's awake but you know she's not hungry so she's just hanging out she's hanging out in there Hi, baby. So, usually she doesn't like this. She doesn't like the swing. So, we'll see how long she stays okay in there. But I thought I would show you guys what I got from the grocery store. There's a lot of stuff. Look at all that. 
<sighs> okay, so first thing is just cinnamon applesauce. It's just great to have around the house. I love snacking on it. And then I also picked up three of these teriyaki vegetables by Pick Sweet Stir Fry. CJ and I love just to pair this with quinoa and chicken or quinoa and steak. And they're just bomb. And it's like a big enough serving where we totally have leftovers that we can use for like the next day. So yeah, three of these. And they're only like $2.50 and I swear they're like more than a pound of vegetables. Okay. And then we picked up two things of tilapia. Him and I love tilapia. I make a really good like Parmesan tilapia. And then I picked up this big thing of quinoa. We've replaced all like rice and potatoes with quinoa and I absolutely love it. I picked up some brown sugar because I am making teriyaki chicken wings. We just got a replacement of extra um, light olive oil. I also got some chicken bouillon, and this is what I flavor the quinoa with. Sorry, it's not in focus. And then I just got two of those. This one's a powder that I grabbed by accident. I got some Pam. Then we bought some croissants. Even though we're trying to eat healthy, CJ likes making really nice big breakfasts breakfast on the weekend. I picked up some apple cinnamon rice cakes, and then I love these Johnson chicken apple sausages they're just a really easy healthy dinner option and then a bunch of snack things um for cj once again and then those are for me so basically sometimes i get a sweet tooth and i don't want anything too bad so i'll just grab like a nutrigrain bar you know it's not the best and i know it's processed but it's yummy then next i'll show you guys this chicken wings so basically it's just a bag full of chicken wings that I got off base and oh that was almost a f tumble and it's $3.67 which is probably like $3.25 for two pounds of chicken wings so I got two of those and this one I'm going to use to make teriyaki chicken wings tonight um this is the breakfast sausage <laughs> the breakfast sausage that CJ likes to eat in the morning and then I got some boneless steak that we can cut up into little cubes to have with quinoa. And then also just some Captain Crunch. So yeah, this is just things to keep us stocked over the next like couple of weeks. Maybe one week. One week. But I'm going to get started on the teriyaki chicken wings. Hopefully Mariah falls asleep. And then hopefully I can clean up a little bit because... The house is messy. It's messy. 3.30 now. CJ gets off at 5.30. Should be good, maybe. You guys remember when Mariah was asleep? Yeah. Homegirl's awake now. She's totally up and moving. No interest in eating. She just wants to be awake. Who <sighs> is? Yeah. yeah, so we're just going to do this. I need to beat some chicken, but that kind of seems gross, like while holding a baby. So we might sweep. So many interesting and fun activities to do. Yeah, but no. I think we're just going to clean up a little. Man, this... Ooh. You guys can recommend any good, um, like acne treatments because this stuff is not going away. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? Look at that stink face, huh? Look at that stink face, Mariah. Hiccups are no fun. No one likes hiccups. Oh god, don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I just have to show you guys what I made. I made quinoa and spicy garlic lime chicken. And then I made a honey and lime kind of roux with the leftovers from the chicken. Doesn't it look amazing? 